Hi, Jason with Cauldron here, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use your Cauldron Fire app. So the first thing you want to do is go to the app on your phone, and it will look like the C with the red bubbles behind it, and it'll say Cauldron on it. Go ahead and click on that. Take just a second for the app to load up here. This screen is where you're going to connect your Bluetooth to your Cauldron. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your bottle is turned on, and so if it's off like this one is now, just press the button on the battery to turn it on. If the display is, is lit, then the, the bottle's on. So go ahead and uh, click Connect to Cauldron. It's going to give you um, a warning to make sure that your Cauldron is within Bluetooth range of your phone or tablet. That's typically a couple hundred feet. Uh, if it is, go ahead and click Continue. So and you'll get a Searching for Devices screen here. Uh, you'll see a couple different devices on here, um, maybe more depending on how many Bluetooth devices you have in, in range of the app when it's when it's looking. Go ahead and click on the one that says Cauldron. You'll get a uh, green check mark when you do, and it'll take you to our homepage. So most of these icons are going to be uh, one-touch uh, preloaded functions for your Cauldron bottle. So the two that aren't is the Bluetooth Connect down here in the lower right-hand corner. That's gonna, if you lose connection with your bottle, um, you will uh, be able to reconnect through that button. Um, you can always tell if you're connected with your bottle because there is a icon um, just below the, the temperature reading that um, is the Bluetooth symbol. So the set temperature icon is the other one that's not a one touch operation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And we go ahead and we click that icon and it takes you to this circular slider. So you can take this slider and go all the way around to whatever temperature you want. Let's go to 135. That's a really common coffee drinking temperature. Um, go ahead and hit set temperature and it'll take you to this screen. It shows your target temperature in Fahrenheit in the upper left hand corner and in Celsius in the upper right hand corner. And then there's two uh, buttons at the bottom. Um, this one says cancel operation. And this one says is ready. Um, if you cancel operation, it'll stop um, what it's doing. And you can see that the, the numbers over here are changing on the cauldron. It, it's already heating up to get to that 135. Um, but if you don't have the cauldron right in front of you, you can hit the is it ready button. It'll tell you whether it's ready or not um, right here. Um, this says uh, no beverage is not ready. Click OK. And it'll change the, the temperature reading to what the the current um, reading in the bottle was um, when you asked if it was okay. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this operation and uh, you can use this back arrow up at the top to go back to the uh, main screen. Um, so this will take you back to the temperature setting. You can set a different temperature here if you want. You can use the arrows to go down a degree at a time or again you can use the slider, hit set temperature again, um, however you want to do that. To toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius just use this little toggle switch right here that I'm going back and forth on. So I'm going to leave it set on Fahrenheit and I'm going to go back to the main screen. So on this main screen you've got several of these one touch options um, as well that we mentioned before. I'm going to look at the one for black tea right now. So if I press the black tea icon it's going to immediately launch to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 degrees Celsius. Um, that is the optimum temperature for brewing black tea and it'll automatically launch in to go into that temperature. So you still have your cancel operation and is it ready function just like you did with the, the manual temperature set um, right down here at the bottom that you can use. So going back to the, the main screen, your one set um, preloaded functions are boil, brew coffee, the perfect cup, and I'll talk about that one here just a little bit, um, that's going to set it to 135. That is uh, the most common temperature that people like to drink their coffee at and what a lot of the manufacturers recommend their coffee be drank at. Um, brew coffee is the perfect setting for brewing, uh, for brewing coffee. So there's a black tea and a green tea setting. Black tea needs to be brewed at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's what the black tea will launch to. Green tea needs to be done at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit, and so the green tea button will launch to that. So the other button on here is for freeze-dried food. 
So if you put in 16 ounces of water and hit the freeze dried food button, it'll uh, heat it up to the right temperature to dump into a freeze dried food packet and and cook the food in the most efficient way possible without wasting um, extra battery life on your cauldron. So those are the preset functions. The only other function that we can talk about that you might want to look at is this um, icon that looks like a little man with a, an eye for a head up here. If you click on that, it gives you all the information about the app, um, what versions are supported. I'm using the iOS version right now, um, but the functionality in Android is identical to what we just went through here for the iOS app. If you have any additional questions um, that I didn't cover here, please uh, visit www.cauldron.com and uh, shoot us a note. We can take care of that for you. Thank you.